You wake up there? Isn't there any professionalism in this club? Would you spin my record, please? A great job on this wig. Pity he wouldn't let me lacquer his face as well. See the devil and my job. Seems no one can help. Need to find you again. I friend. Sometimes it's easy to laugh like a clown. Key, I hope. Nothing, 
Molly Moore. God. Liza. What is it? Sally Molly Knox! Sally Molly Knox! Uh, <laughs> it's here for what? Come on, okay. Back to the cages, Kong. Come on. Okay. Come on. We can lick it together. Just sit. Push. Harder. Oh. He always finds me. He says I'm the one born dead. So he comes to grind my bones into powder. He's a bone crusher from the other place where the old laugh had me. The hospital? No. No, the other place. The other place where the great divider ran. Sorry, Molly Knox. Molly Knox. What are you saying? I don't understand. It's the other language. It's hard to translate into English. Zara taught it to me. He's from the other place, too, only he's different. He's beautiful like a dragonfly. He used to come to me after the shock treatments, and he'd, and he'd put on little performances to, to make the pain behind my head go away. Oh, he's so funny. Sometimes I'd tell him that I love him, and he'd go too tall for the ceiling. He'd be so, so funny. <laughs> but, but I can't let him stay anymore. I can't let him stay anymore. Not anymore. Careful. Girl needs friends. No, but you don't understand. He's from the other place, and I'm not a part of them anymore. The others, they still come sometimes. They think and say that the one who's born dead belongs with them, but they're wrong. I'm alive. I'm alive. Yeah. Hey, let's just call the doctor and... Check. No! No! No, no, no. No, the doctors and the white horse, they've got keys to lock up my brain. They come at me with needles and, and take me to the electric dungeons and sizzle my brain. I gotta think to fight off the bone crusher in the hospital. They don't let you think. They say they don't see the bone crusher, but I know. I know. I know they see him through his helpers. You gotta promise not to tell anyone. It's very dangerous. They gotta spoil all special people. You gotta promise, Robin. You gotta promise. I, I promise. Oh, oh, good. Good. I can do it. I can go sane just like anybody else. Of course you can. Uh, I told you to be right along. <laughs> now, Peggy O'Brien is out there, and she is turning into the Wicked Witch of the West. Mm. Now, move it! Now! Right after Mass Sergeant Jason, sir. Mother always told me to have a good breakfast. And the only mother you have to worry about is me, and this mother is mad, Turner. Real mad! Well, you know Lana Turner was my real mother. Even a fag hairdresser like you should recognize these gams. I brought your suitcases, honey. All your favorite clothes. Let me bring them in for you. We could talk. No, Mother. Mother, I've, I've got too much to do. The nurse is coming, and I've got to do things alone. It's important, Mother. You blame me, don't you? It was the best mental home in the province. What else could we do? All those nightmares you had, those things you saw, and the crying. I couldn't stand you always crying, Liza. Liza. We do love you, honey. Whatever you do, you're still my little girl. Do you remember that? And I beat everyone they had in all afternoon. They said I was the best game player they'd auditioned in a month. 
Magic Squares was one game show I could never get. All those lights and buzzers and Canadian stars I've never heard of. Oh, it's easy. You watch tonight and I'll show you how to play and make bundles of money. Broadcast live, huh? Right across Canada. Should we get a little adventuresome? Well, maybe just a tad. Something regal. Oh. Open on the second ring. The second ring. Liza Connor? Yes. Nurse Club. Hello. Uh, won't you come in? Oh, please excuse the disarray. It's such a task settling into a new place. <laughs> think that you need the uh, hospital anymore. Well, it's Dr. Bedell's decision to let you stay out. It's on his hands, not on mine. I'll just uh, keep an eye out on you, just in case. And I'll uh, fill out the forms. Oh, the kettle, may I get you some tea? Uh, coffee. Uh, milk, no sugar. Coffee, milk, no sugar. You know, sister, tea now. Here we are. I'm afraid it's only instant. What isn't these days? <laughs> now, medication. Did Dr. Bettle send you your prescription? Oh, yes. Now, you must never forget that you were in a mental institution for eight years, Liza. You're schizophrenic, Liza. Uh, two nose and hands upon waking. Mm -hmm. uh, three Valium after breakfast. Mm -hmm. uh, th three Marlopan at two. Mm -hmm. Two Nardal at seven. And two Valium at ten. Mm -hmm. Now, you dating anyone? In your condition, it would be unthinkable to risk pregnancy. No, no dates. Good. Now. Let's talk about bowels. About uh, what? Oh, um, movement, consistency, frequencies. Oh. Now? Just one more touch. The new you. Ah! An Irish Cleopatra? I functioned, Robin. I really functioned well. Good. To make one of the best stories for my crazies. She had a bag full of other people's brains and she sat in my world scribbling on mine. <sighs> Do you know they're powerless so long as I can function? I'm never going to go back to that locked ward. Good. I smiled at her. Not a very large smile, though, or she put me down as manic. Robin, I was fabulous. She said the welfare money will be coming soon and I can start to share the rent. Ah. Uh. You want a drink? Okay. You don't seem very excited about my victory. I mean, I know it's not a lot for a lot of other people, but it sure was a lot for me. I'm just a little tired. Are you mad at me for not seeing Mother? No. She always gets me so depressed, and, and then I can't keep my mind steady. I know. I mean, she 
comes with good intentions, but she, she leaves visions of lepers behind her. You don't want me here, do you? You know better than that. I don't know what I know. I'm crazy Liza. You are not the only person in the whole world with feelings. What? I am depressed, okay? Why? Oh, come on, tell me. Doesn't matter. I'll slip the juice to your knock and if you don't... Caged. Like some wild, wonderful thing, I'm caged no. in this snake pit. Hey, I know, Robin. Why don't you do my hair all up and sexy and we can go out and cruise everything in pants? I'm sick of doing everyone else's head. Even Cleopatra's? That bitch. Oh, she should have tipped me 50 for giving her class. I guess she didn't want class. Any woman in this town should be thrilled to look like Cleopatra. Or Betty Davis. I mean, those gals are tough. I think they're made of steel, but they're dazzling, alive. They've got guts and they had fun. These women here, they... They live life like it's a can of Coke, and they're afraid to drink it too fast, or it'll all be gone. Life isn't a can of Coke. Diet Pepsi. <laughs> they sit in my station in the yak about renovating their houses. They should renovate their shitty little lives instead. Some days I think, Robin Turner, this is your life. For the next 40 years, no dazzle. So quit. And? Do something dazzling. Mm. No, baby, this is all there is. I'm sorry, Robin. Don't touch me. Why not? I'm fat. I don't care. Well, I do. I love you, Robin. Why? Oh, because you're crazy. <laughs> like <laughs> me. Mm, too loony tune. <laughs> We're going to work it out. <sighs> Liza. What? Your hair is shit. Anyway, nobody listens anymore. My psychiatrist doesn't even listen. Oh, come on, the people in the hospital listen to you. Yeah, and that's why they sent me home. Too many people were hearing the truth. Oh, Martin, you don't belong in that hospital. I mean, you belong out here. You can do things and be someone out here. Right, in the capitalist jungle, man. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, hey, hey, would you sort these socks? Hey, your liner smeared. No, they're turning Chinese. Confuses some people. I don't know, Liza. I don't know. Oh, but Martin, that's what it's all about. It's, it's about doing something really big and important and dazzling. And I'll be doing enormous things. Come out. Well, someday, I'm going to have 100 stories just for the crazies all over the world. But if you don't eat your lunch, you don't get any din din. Mm -hmm. Do you write about the ovens? You know, they keep ovens in the hospital. I know, Martin, for the lobotomies. Fake lobotomies? I detest Ukrainian food. <laughs> God, Fairy, you'll <laughs> never guess. Hi, Liza. Hi, Fairy. I have found the solution. I'm going as a stewardess, Karen Black, Airport 75. You never get out of the cockpit, darling. What's well, a positive brainstorm? See? Sensible shoes. Tasteful skirt. Not a lot of makeup, smallish breasts, and... Stylish, but no frills. Look, everyone goes to these drag contests all glitter and glamour, but I mean, how many Zsa Zsa Gabors can be in a room at a time? No one's an individual. Now, all I really need is a really good flight bag. No Air Canada vinyl stuff, something with class, like Air France. Hey, even fake's expensive these days. Well, your liner's going. They're real. Ow! My eyes are oh, real. You're right, they're real. A little smudge, but real. I didn't know you like rough trade. Were you guys going? No. Robin's just dying to do drag, but he hasn't got the balls. Learn him something nice, honey. They all look like Joey Heatherton. No one is real. Are you telling me Karen Black isn't real? I know, Robin. You should get Tallulah Bankhead to go. Who? 
Tallulah. Even an Oriental prince should know that name. Oh. Tallulah lives inside, Robin. She's like Elsie. Do you remember she had all those people who lived inside and they used to pop out and scare people because they still look like Elsie? Only Tallulah is different because she's a friend. We'll never imprison your friends because they can pour acid on your heart. Oh, come on, Robin. Get Tallulah to go just for the one night. <laughs> Out of sight. Mm -hmm. You get to the Elma Combo much? Mm, depends how cute the cat is on the way. <laughs> <laughs> you trash. <laughs> Zara Lama Knox. Get back to the other place. Yeah. Good little girls take their pills and no dessert. You into heavy drugs? Oh, very. <laughs> Prescription. You can get some real bummers on chemicals, you know. Oh. <laughs> no pills? No threats. <laughs> Come on. Hey, um, did I tell you about my roomie? I forget things sometimes. Well, yeah, Gay's cool with me. So long as he doesn't want a threesome. Um. No. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Ta-da! Bedlam. <laughs> You got a lot of threats, kid. Mmm, so do you. Get rid of them. Oh, we're gonna have such a good time. Oh, firm. Nice. <laughs> Pink lipstick. Jolly. For Tulum, never. Leave that trick this minute and bring me blood red. I haven't got any. Frosty pink, no less. Even those fairies at Fox managed to get me red lips. Okay, okay. I'll get you later, okay? I may be small-chested, but this is ridiculous. Now give me the red. Ooh. There, red. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's Perry. Let the wretched stewardess in. <laughs> No, 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 it's real cute. It's, 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 it's real cute. I knew it. Even Karen Black wasn't pretty in this junk. I've got to change it all. I was born to be blonde. Liza, could I wear some little thing of yours? Carry your legs and your thighs are twice my size. Oh, any old throwaway thing, Liza. I'm desperate. No, Perry, that's my best. This is your best? Oh, Liza, please. You'll stretch it to shreds. No, I won't. If I do, I'll buy you a new... whatever it is. Liza? Oh, Stuart, Stuart, this is Perry. Perry? Liza! Well, if you ruin it... I'll buy you seven of them. Warned yet. <laughs> Oh, my God. Tallulah lives. What the? Ah. No autographs, darling. My hands are much too busy. 
That's my mother's honeymoon gown. Wardrobe neglected to tell me these were hand-me-downs. My last picture for Republic. <laughs> Now, this is more me. You look like Shelley Winters hiding behind Ferrall, Fawcett Majors. <laughs> Robin, that dress is divine. Thank you, darling. Gap cap there? You kidding? Liza? Bro, take the streetcar. What star ever took a streetcar? Judy Garland. Clang, clang, clang went the trolley. But that was on the MGM backlog, darling, not down St. Clair Avenue. <laughs> Let's hope for Shell. <laughs> Oh, you gotta win first prize, Robin. It was ever so meeting you, Stuart. Can't you see the boy has a heart on, for Christ's sakes? Come on. It's better the second time, isn't it? Oh, baby. I could go all night with you. <laughs> Just put it on hold, darling. <laughs> they want me for a club date locally, wouldn't you know? What? <laughs> well, darling, MC a drag show. Uh, do they pay? Only with applause. God, the provinces. When is your first show? Oh, I didn't say there was going to be one. <sighs> on or off, kid? Off. Ordinary tribes again. <laughs> <sighs> oh, he'd be terrific. You know, Liza, there are a lot of guys, regular guys, who really dig a chick like you. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by regular? <laughs> well, damn it, why do you live with that? Because that is my best friend. I'm sorry. All the shrink's horses and all the shrink's men couldn't put Liza back together again, but Robin, he... Forget it, baby. I didn't mean anything. Get your hands off me. I'm tired. Shit! You know, I'll never understand it. What? Oh, why all straight guys turn out to be such suckholes. Damn crazy bitch! You're crazy! I'm allowed. Dr. Bedell said so. An MC. Hmm. You really were fantastic. Takes two to, uh, you know. Oh, I, I met at the ball. Funniest I've seen. Thanks. That girl back there. Ever make it with it? No. We've got other things going for us. Well? What? Look. I thought I had enough money to get me through the rest of the week, and I'm short. Can you help me out? What you're really asking is for me to pay for it, isn't it? I made the back page of The Advocate a couple of months back. Celebrity on my very own couch. Well, in that case... Listen, I don't usually make it with drag queens at all. It's not just me. None of the guys. Hey, please, just take the money. Okay, okay. I thought you knew how things are. Does it really matter? Robin? Robin, are you all right? Good night, Phil. Robin? Oh, not now, Liza. When I was 14, I looked in the mirror 
And I said, admit it, Robin, you're different. I learned I could get by as long as I kept the lid on. A few years later, I looked again and said, Robin, you're a typical screaming hairdresser. So I put the lid on a little tighter. Somehow I got through all the days and all the jobs, never really happy, but somehow getting by. And tonight, I blew off all the lids. And I popped this chunk. Do you know what it's like when a really good-looking boy looks at you and all he sees is drag queen? It's no good, Liza. Robin, if a caterpillar was afraid of wings, it'd never become a butterfly. And people would look at it and say, oh, look, there's a worm on the tree. But, but they'd never see it spinning colors into the air. You've got to do the club, Robin. Why? Well, if people laugh, then they don't go crazy. Presenting the dazzling Robin Turner. Oh, do it, Robin. Do it for me and all the crazies. But it is a professional engagement. Saturday is our peak day, and I will not let you go flitting off in the middle of the afternoon so you can do tacky drag at night. It is not tacky drag. I do real impressions. No records. My own voice. And your own tits. No, he's tacky. All I need is Saturday afternoon off to shop and rehearse and, you know. Listen, running a beauty salon is very serious. I mean, it's all in the image of the hairdresser. Those ladies don't come in here to have their hair done. They come in to have their egos boosted by men. And if you lose that straight image, you lose the clients. Who wants to be felt up by faggots? I can think of two people in this room who'd love it. Thank heavens that crazy girl works as a cover for you. But a drag queen working in my shop, never. Maybe I shouldn't work here at all then. Oh, no one would ever know. I'll be a better worker if I'm happy. You know, everybody in my group tells me that I'm a sucker for the sobbers. Why do I have to feel guilty about saying no? Please? Oh, but 2.30. Well, why can't you wait till 3.30 or 4? Okay. Okay. Now, can we get this place open? Right, sir. Good morning. Uh, so, Brian, I just put on some fresh coffee for you. Mm, I'll bet. I gotta find some really, really good stuff. You know, Bettles. Oh, I used to think he had superior intelligence. I don't think that anymore. Yeah, well, you sure can't tell when you were lying. I mean, I mean, last time when I couldn't find my journal, I made out some really good stuff about screwing Dracula. Only he said he knew it was phony. said phonies get sent back. Hospital's not that bad. People listen. I know. Stuff about Zara. No, Robin changing into Tallulah. That was real. Well, they're all real stupid. The mouth is one's at the windows. Bettles will love it. I'll even throw in some good sex. Bye. Adios. And the jolliest ones stretch liver red tongues that laugh at the window pane. Pain, pain, screeching in hungry agony. Liza, Liza, devour us. And her teeth were puncture sharp and ripping jagged. They would tear my nipples into ground meat. And what did you do? Took another night off. You understood the faces were not real. Hallucinations. They come only from you, and only you can control them. You'll have to learn how. Before I forget, I'm almost out of Nardo. And Valium, too. Nurse Carr has reported you're living with a man. And uh, that there's a lot of rye being consumed. How does she know? The garbage. She spies on my garbage? It's for your own protection, Liza. Well, the rye's Martin's. I mean, he comes over to talk and he's always cold. And the man? Well, Robin's just a roommate, that's all. Does he have other girlfriends? No. Boyfriends.
Do you know what rents are these days? I have to have a roommate. You know, Liza, they've opened the new wing at, at Morningside. It, it's sunny and clean. They're using new therapies. No, no, I'm doing fine. I'm doing great. I'll do whatever you say. I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. You have to be very careful. Pregnancy is unthinkable in your condition. No, Robin and I sleep, sleep in different worlds. Well, I don't like the situation at all. But all right, we'll, we'll give it a bit more time. But you must stay on the birth control pills. And the Nardal? I'll phone the drugstore. Thank you. Meadows wants me to go back into Morningside. He says I'll always be schizo. First there was Joan Crawford in Possessed. Then Joanne Woodward in The Three Faces of Eve. Now Liza Connor in Schizo Forever. But Robin, maybe I wouldn't hallucinate so much if I was back in the hospital. Mm. There are three important things in life. Sex, movies, and my career. You should think almost entirely of them and never about yourself. Liza's brain runs round and round. Liza's head is full of sounds. Liza's the one born dead. Liza's the one without any head. Step up, kid. How's this? <laughs> what are you doing? It's for my opening. The club manager is a Betty Davis freak. Oh, Robert, you're gonna do it! Took me hours to find her record. You're gonna need a dress, a really good dress. You bet. Isn't it lucky they taught you sewing at the nutty bin? I'll wrap my own machine! And I want something smart and sensible by factory. I thought I had some good stuff here. This is crap. Do you see some of those guys out there? Oh, wow. I don't know what to say. It's too late. You're going to say that Miss Montego Bay is the hottest piece in town. Now move that white ass, honey. Right on. Anita Bryant sent me down here to beat some sense into you frozen fruits. <laughs> oh, what a dump. <laughs> Speaking of Joan Crawford, Joan and I were reminiscing recently, and I reminded her of all the times that she'd been evil, capital E, evil, in her pictures, her very moving pictures. <laughs> you remember Mildred Pierce? She played a waitress, but she couldn't wait to beat up Anne Blythe because she was stealing her boyfriend, Zachary Scott. Well, Joan gave her the shoulders and the full treatment. <laughs> Vita, you little tramp. <laughs> then, of 
course. Years later, she graduated to a typist who couldn't type because she was going out with an outpatient. Where else would you go with an outpatient? And uh, one day he picked up her typewriter and smashed her hand. She took her one good hand and got Vera Miles right on the cheek. <laughs> Why, you little slut. <laughs> I finally got her where I want her. <laughs> Come on, Blanche. Let's go for a walk. <laughs> oh, Jane, you wouldn't treat me so cruelly if I weren't in a wheelchair. <laughs> but you are. <laughs> Now enough nostalgia. I'd like to present a little Christmas cheer, Mr. Jackie Loren. Oh, Robert, you sound so <laughs> Please, I detest cheap sentiment. <laughs> pretty well when we were in school. I wonder if she's still writing. I don't know. Who is that? That's Joe. She's a magazine editor. She's the most popular girl in my graduating class. The other one? Oh, I bet she's a revolutionary. She's even built like a revolutionary. Anne's game, Martin. It figures. But Joe, but Joe's straight. And she'd really love you, because you were sent away. Well, then why don't they pay him with such dynamite? I mean, 20 bucks a show. In Canada, we perform for love. The gay clubs in this town don't make enough money. No one gets paid for doing drag. Yeah, well, being gay is one thing, but doing drag. Oh! Sugar, he wants to liberate the denim fags and lock up the satin queen. <laughs> Not now, Fussy, Pear. Maybe, maybe we can go for a drive later. Okay. Cab driver. A yellow cab. The night before that, she was with a metro cab. Did you want to be a girl when you were little? Oh. 
It was so tragic, having to wear mummy's bras to school. But who's the real Robin Turner? Maybe there are a lot of Robin Turners. Maybe I'm a plural person. That doesn't make any sense. Making sense is Joe. Joe, darling. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Liza. Very glasses. Yeah. Have you seen my record collection? Come here, have a look. This guy, Brian DePalma, makes the most fabulous Well, no, but I, uh, I, 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 if, if, oh, if that's Dino De Laurentiis, tell him I'm not speaking to him and he knows why. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Mother. Well, Merry Christmas, Mother. No, Mother, I know what day it is. Merry Christmas Eve, I meant. No, I'm sure Bettles didn't mean it like that. No, I am not having more hallucinations. Look, I don't care if they take Mediterranean cruises. I am not going back to any hospital ever again, Mother. Well, you can tell Daddy to shove it. Your Christmas cards are in the mail. Good night. Oh, never wear your telephone numbers on your wrist. What? You can get a reputation. <laughs> What's wrong, baby? I guess I'm just a little tired. Maybe I'll have a little nibble or something. Haven't you eaten anything yet? No, I don't think so. You mean Robin let you serve everybody and, and didn't let you stop to eat? I wasn't hungry before. You're sick, Emma. Um, I'll see what I can find. No, Mae West is not a man. She's just a very tough woman. No offense. Baggage. I'm working on it. Okay, okay. Cut the Shirley Temple act, will you? You might go down with Liza, but you don't with me. What? While you've been out there swishing and drinking, she's been working like some damn slave, and she hasn't even had time to eat herself. She is very thin, Robert. And Joe, please. I didn't know she had one. Oh, there's not a thing. Not even soup. Well, I'll go out for something. You are a sick, power-hungry, egotistical fag. And you need someone to push around. So around comes Liza, someone who is disturbed, someone who can't complain no matter what you do to her. Because she loves you. You think she loves you. She is sick. And you, you use her. Don't coddle him. It's bad for both of you. Liza. Don't do that. No one can do that. Robin. Please don't shut me up here with Anne. Do I take advantage of you? No. I wanted this party to be so happy, and now it's like Valley of the Dolls. <laughs> thing that they said out there was that I love you. All right, what are you up to? Oh, I just came in a little early. Do all the girls for the big Easter show. Peggy, hello, look, Betty. Peggy O'Brien's son is gay. Whoopee. She caught him doing the telephone man in the study. He told her everything. Liberation comes to Thorncliffe. You know, he even told her about that nifty club he goes to where some of the men dress up like women. <laughs> men she knows. You're fired. Wait a Bettles. Oh, wait a mother. What? Oh, hey, sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, right, thanks very much, bye.
Announcement. Huh? What? Jason tints his pubic hair. You're fired. Mm-hmm. I want to work in this town. I got to stop the drag. Oh, well, now my announcement. <laughs> I'm not the one born dead. Robin, I'm pregnant. You're kidding. No. I think you fuzzy bear. Yellow cap, I think. <laughs> Have you told him? Why, this is my baby. You're gonna have it? Yeah, wait after New Year's. Proves I'm alive. They can never get me now. Babies are expensive. Yeah, I know, but we'll work it out. We'll work it out. I know we will. <laughs> but the birth control pills. I take so many pills, I get confused. Hmm. <laughs> The abortion's going to be very hard in your system. I'm not having an abortion. I'm having a baby. Liza, you cannot have a baby. All the pills you have to take, you're not strong enough. I am, too. I'm strong and alive, just like everybody else. But a pregnancy could unbalance you. You'll be back at Morningside in no time. Oh, no, I won't. They don't take expectant mothers in the locked wards. And just my bills. We lose them, they'll send us some more. Come on, Liza. I've seen other pregnant women on the beach. Nobody cares. And I'm sick of going alone all the time. Martin, I just have too much to do. Well, is it a good story? A little premature. Robin triumphs? It'll happen. But it's back to school weather again in a year. Still nothing. I'll write an early letter to Santa. Uh, <laughs> this time I have it. I really have it. Karen Black, as she was in Nashville. Oh, cross your eyes and hope to die. Robin, she is an actress. Why don't you just skip the ball and do a number at the club this year? Me? Well, what can I do? Whatever Robin tells you to do. Can I wear red? <laughs> no, only black and white. Oh, would you show me a few dance steps? Honey, when I'm through with you, I'll have you moving over the entire floor. Hi, hey. boys. <laughs> you looking for a good time? Well, oh. <laughs> a little pushy, but it's you. Yeah, no. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, um, what I wanted to tell you was, uh, I got this, um, I went to a Hadassah Bazaar, actually, and, uh, I picked up this, uh, big machine, um, this, what do you call it, a moviola, and, uh, we cut the picture myself, um, because that way we get a woman's point of view, you know, this woman. And, um, actually I had a very good dialogue with Christopherson through the whole picture. If you recall, every time he says, Watch closely now. I say, cut. And um, speaking of stars, it's really nice being born a star. Yes. <laughs> and um, our next performer, speaking of stars, our next performer isn't one, but. Uh, <laughs> No, but I know with your help and uh, my coaching, um, we can really do it. Um, clear the way, boys. Come on, clear the way here, and let's bring on Sister Perry.
sensational tonight. I tell you, you're ready for your big break. How much do they pay? Listen, fella, performers don't get paid in New York, not until they're stars. Oh, Robin's a star. But he's got to prove it where it counts. Look, the Jack Rabbit is a fantastic showcase for new talent. You could get spotted by really big people there. I can give you two months to make it. Wouldn't you come? You know what it costs to have a baby in the States? I'll get a club date here. A high-paying one. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. oh, well, let's just uh, see what makes it in Toronto. Uh, oh, here's Andy and his Bavarian accordion at the Sheraton. Maybe you'll get sick. Oh, and here's Anne Murray coming to the gardens. Maybe we'll get sick. Look, the straight clubs in this town just aren't ready. Besides, no Canadian act makes it here without the U.S. seal of approval. You're going to have to go down to the States sometime, Robin. I mean, I mean, look at Gordon Lightfoot. Marty Hall. You've got no choice. Well, I'd have to start singing. I'd want piano and drums. The jackrabbits got him. What else can you do? Apply for a Canada Council grant. Wow. <laughs> New York. Oh, Oh, I'm so excited. I wish we were going. The Chinese communists need me right here. <laughs> oh, wow, he's going to make it real big. Oh, my, that was bigger. <laughs> hey, this is it. I, uh, hate, I hate goodbyes. You take good care of her. Uh, bye. Bye. Hey, be dancing, OK? I love you. Yeah? Martin, take me home. This is no place for seeing the bone crusher. Dries then open on the other side of the river. At least I'm opening in Manhattan. <laughs> yeah, at the Jack Rabbit Club. What do you know about it? I know lots about it. I'm an out-of-work agent. Got your own car and everything, huh? Listen, I was the best junior William Morris ever had. All they ever talked about was packages, packages. I thought I was in Bloomingdale's. So I got bored and quit. I'm just doing this between careers. I just like to travel heavy. <laughs> hey, can you help me out with this stuff? Hey, this is New York, fella. Oh, I can't make an entrance solo. Come on, spend a few minutes with a star. Yeah, hey, what's in it for me? I'll make you my New York agent. That's 10% of nothing. What else? Oh, I don't negotiate on the streets, Sage Brooks. <laughs> Not bad. Maybe I can pick up my afternoon trick in there. Isn't anybody straight anymore? Sure. My father in Montana. <laughs> Why don't you give me a chance, man? I had an act that killed him dead in Detroit. I'll bet it was a pip. Uh, in the back, honey, uh, in the back. I'm going to be very helpful in the Chinese-Russia border dispute. Did Robin change trains in Buffalo? I want to get the facts straight. They need me to replace Mao. I'm going to put all the Chinese in concentration camps. Mao didn't like the Chinese. He was baptized a Catholic by the missionaries. 
Are you going to write about my concentration camps? Oh, maybe I should go back into the hospital. Nonsense. You belong out here. It's really cold in Buffalo, isn't it? Nobody listens. I was so listening, Martin. Look, I can write and I can listen. I can have a baby all at once, okay? Now, just how in heck do you think you're going to get those Chinese into your camps anyhow, huh? There'll be huge gardens with flowers and everything, man. I'll advertise that the capitals will be on display inside. And the Chinese can come and puncture their eardrums with chopsticks. Martin, have you ever read Nietzsche? No. With the Chinese in camps and the Russians in camps, there won't be a border dispute. And I'm going to put the capitalists in there, too, man. I'm going to be the biggest enemy of capitalism in history. There are a lot of capitalists in Buffalo. Yeah, well, that's why it's always on fire. to know what you want. Just tell him a quick intro and a loud drum roll. Okay. And the spot right on the door. Right on the door. and Sifu. We have a new performer in tonight, all the way from Toronto. I love upstate New York. <laughs> I was in Toronto once. The only female impersonator they had at the time was a woman. <laughs> anyway, here he is, Toronto's favorite man about town, Mr. Robin Turner! Boys, you might need them later. Uh, I feel like a million tonight, Ooh, one at a time. Oh, if I'd known you were going to be here, I would have worn a leather boa. Ooh, who's this? Your lover? Try it, you'll like it. I don't care how big they are, there's just so many puffs and good cigars. Oh, yeah? Well, the secret of my success... Oh, <laughs> not the men you see me with, it's the men you don't see me with. <laughs> Get it, boys. <laughs> If you're gonna do it, do it, do it all the time. 
Did he ever get violent with you? Oh, Martin's very gentle. I mean, if he's done anything wrong, you can blame Mao Zedong. She uh, makes up foreign names sometimes. She invented a whole language once. She's a very sick girl. Well, you can't stay here because he might come back. Martin would never hurt me. Liza, he just wounded a man with a knife. Maybe you better come home with us, dear. I'll speak to you. No, father. no. Did Martin have any favorite hangouts? Yeah, Morningside Nuthouse. You should cooperate with me, young lady. That boy has got to be caught and locked up. Why does everybody always want to lock everybody else up? I mean, I mean, who's insane anyhow? Let's get your overnight bag. No, no, mother. I got a lot of places to go, and I got a lot of friends. Oh, well, they hurt Martin. How do you do your tits like that? Well, I generally have someone do them for me. <laughs> Bet you had a little injection, eh? Oh, well, little injections ain't my style. <laughs> hey, are you really his agent? Had to shape his act for years. So, you guys, wanna come to my house and play? All three of us? Look, I'm just too horny to make an intelligent choice. Okay, you're on. I'll be right back. I leaned on Jimmy. He's gonna charge a cover at the door on weekends. You'll split it. You should bring you 50 or 75 a week. And there's a room upstairs. You get it. It's a private suite? Of course. Mm. Is it equipped? Fully. Yum, yum. <laughs> mm. Oh, not the tea. I really hope you're going to be happy here. How can things this old be this clean? <laughs> Liza, would you let me read some of your stories? But they're, but they're just for crazies. I know. But I'm a good editor, and I know a bit about people. Maybe I could help you get started. You mean you think I can sell them? For money? We'll see, okay? You promise not to follow me here anymore. Oh, yes, I still love you too, but no, no, no. You you can't start going through the ceiling. Not here. No, you've got to go away for good now, Zara. You've got to. Zara, I live in a real house and everything. Don't you understand? No, no, no jokes. I, I'm I'm not I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to. I. <clears throat> Oh, Zara, I'm normal now. I'm normal, and you can't stay here anymore. Please, Zara, you've got to go away. I knew you'd understand, Zara. I knew you would. I'll miss you. I'll miss you until my baby comes. No, no, move. Over to the left. Yeah. Sorry, darling. Non-union stage hands. You saved that much already in a month? My agent assures me you get me a club date uptown. I'll get the money together yet, kid. Christmas lights. Jimmy, I am a star, but not a star. Bethlehem. I'll have you know I got these from Carol Channing's personal wardrobe. Yeah, we can hurry up and drop the kid. Hey, get down here. Love you. Bye. Just four more weeks. 
plenty of time to work on the story. How much do you think I get for it? It's good. It, it's really good. Uh, only uh, these incomplete sentences, like uh, she had to erupt the tooth from his brain. She said dot, dot, dot. She said what? Whatever you like. Yeah, but that's not how you write a story. It's reader participation. Everybody knows the truth, their own truth. You just fill it in. Whoops, time for the belly man. You mean the gynecologist? Right, look, why don't you just fix it all yourself? I really need the money for New York, and I'd really appreciate it. And, oh, well, you know. Bye. You're taking it? Yeah. It's within my budget. Uh, Robin, this neighborhood. It's Freak City. Well, I want Liza to feel at home. Get him out of here. Get him out. Liza, he's come right down. He's on my face. He's, you're not making any sense. He's coming. Doctor! Doctor, hurry up. I don't know what to do. You can't have my baby. You, you can't have my baby. You can't have him. I got other responsibilities. I, I'm not a nurse. It will stop the hallucination. But it doesn't work. It only makes me weak. He's right there. Push him off my belly. Robin. Robin, I did it. At this hour? Listen to me. You're not going to believe this. It started out so silly. Every Thursday night in this uh, back room bar, me and this super hump kept getting it off. Except he was always so detached. He never spoke. You know the type. It was just sex. Only the... <laughs> but the third week, I got tired of the routine. And I asked him to come up to my place. No answer. So I said I had some Colombian grass. He still wouldn't talk. So I got mad. No one's that gorgeous, I said. So you know what he said? What? Oh, no. He was a deaf mute, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Good to know you're an equal opportunity, slut. <laughs> anyway, then I met his uncle. I've never heard of a sugar rock. Anyway, Uncle Ziggy runs Ziggy's Cabaret uptown. Now, he has tryout nights for new acts. Yeah. And thanks to me, next Monday night, you're it. Oh. Now, the crowd's not huge, and all you get is a plain stage, the house band, and a mic. But if they like you, I can get you Mondays regular for a month. Yeah. You know, all these years, I thought it was the star who got the horror way to the top. <laughs> I think it's about time you got some new material into your act. How about Chiffon? Robin, aren't you excited? I'm terrified. Class cost. Will you calm down? How much time have I got? You've got ten minutes. Jeez, I can't. I'm gonna flop. Have you seen that crowd out there? Not just straight, dead, maybe. Robin, even the Waldorf isn't straight. Depends on which Johnny you use, slut. <laughs> Thanks for staying in. Sure. I think this is it. Okay, okay. Nurse? A kiss on the hand may be quite continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. A kiss may be grand, but it you know, we've been singing that song for 25 years now, and it's almost perfect. <laughs> right now, I've decided to 
take a new role, a new characterization, new wig and everything. I've accepted the title role in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? <laughs> We're opening at the Owensboro Drive-In Dinner Theater. <laughs> um, recently, I attended a cattle call audition in New York City, and um, they were auditioning girls, you see, to find out who'd be my replacement as Lola Ali. Well, some of the greatest people showed up, and my favorite of all was Marlene D-Track. Trick. <laughs> hey, best acting you've ever had. But square cut off hair is wrong. Don't lose their shape. Diamonds are a girl's I don't think this song is right for me. <laughs> Smash his camera. <laughs> Fitzgerald. She's a good singer. I tell you, I know a lot about men and rock, and a lot about saving Carol Channing's vehicles. So, we'll get it to run another year. Come on, just take it easy, boy. I don't need this job. I do not need this job. Let's try Miss Beth Midler. There's only one Lorela, and that's me. And this is the way the song should be done forever. Pencils poised.
bananas for you right there. You've got to do an encore. Oh, I don't know anything more. I've done everything I know. You've got to do one, Peggy. No. Jules? Judy. You haven't done Judy. Oh. Uh, Judy. Okay. Here we go. I'll sing them all and we'll stay all night. <laughs> Did you ever see two buddies part upon a foreign land? When the airplane's just about to start for old New York as planned. With a tear dimmed eye, one waves goodbye. They're friends without a doubt. And a sigh short away, I hear her say, as the jets. Kidding. Do you have any idea what our overhead is? This figure just isn't enough, and I don't care if we are only playing one night a week. Now, you talk to me about money. You name me some figures. All right, all right. How about another $75? Okay, that's cool. But it's not an exclusive contract. We get to play downtown at the Jack Rabbit Club on weekends. All right, yes. No, just sign it. No, no, wait a minute. There's this clause about costumes and music. I'm not at all sure I like oh, that. Damn clause. it. Okay, good. Next Monday. I want to see the exact same show that I saw tonight. We'll see. No improvising. Need it. Need it. <laughs> well, is it a boy or a girl? I won't say. The baby was born dead. I'm dead inside, Robin. The bone crusher is conquered. That's not true, Liza. You see what you've done to my little girl in your wild life. I'm going to lose my baby again. She's got to go back to Morningside. And it's your fault, Robin Turner. It wasn't his fault. Well, it was somebody's fault. Come on, Bob. Drive. Where to? Canada. So if you need anything, you just uh, shout or drop a book and I'll be there, okay? Hey, they can't force you into Morningside. Not if you're acting healthy, you know? Hey, come on. Tell me. Old times. Liza. Come in. Anne, I've come for Liza. Please don't give me any trouble. Okay, but hurry up before Joe comes in. Okay. I even got you a new cab driver. A New York one. A gay one. Thank God. Daddy's got a show to do now. We need some new dresses. Careful. Oh, bye, Anne. Thanks. Bye, Robbie. Bye, Liza. And with Ziggy's on Mondays and the Jackrabbit on weekends, we got money, money, money. Oh, Liza's so adorable worse. There. 
You're all unpacked. You're home. Come on. Stay home for Dada. You're home. Robin, are you sure this is the right place for her? There are no right places for people like Liza. Come on, baby. Showtime. I'm dead. You're not dead, but you're getting pretty boring. Who are you doing tonight? Someone new for Miss Living Dead. You're taking her to the Jackrabbit? No, you are. And these and this. See if you can get her to scribble something in it and dress her up a little. Me? Pretend she's a guy. Make her pretty. Robin, damn it. You are nuts. Big news. Everybody gets here eventually. But I'm in his domain. I'm dead inside. 
You are not dead. You're alive and sick and living in New York like eight million other people. Listen, you're Liza. You're not Joe. You're not your mother. You're not any of the people the doctors want to make you into. You'll never be normal, but you're special. And you can have a hell of a good time. You know, there's only one thing. You're mad as a hatter, darling. <laughs> but that's all right, because so am I. So am I. I've never known anyone worth knowing who wasn't a positive fruitcake. We're all nuts. You and me are here to love and look after each other. You're not dead. You just have a healthy case of craziness. Craziness? Yes. Make it work for you. Mad. Mad, darling. Mad. 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 You got it. Mad. 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 Thank you. 